Welcome back to part two of last week's thrifting video. Today I'm going to take you back to my house where I'll show you everything that I thrifted plus how I styled some of those items. And for now we're going to flash back quickly to the thrift store where I found that amazing Italian table for $30. And later on in the video I will show you how I styled it and set it up in my house. And without further ado, let's get right into the thrift haul. So here are all the finds from last week's um, thrifting trips and they will all be, almost all will be available in the Etsy shop here right away and hopefully by the time this video is out there will be all of them there. And if you want to support um, the channel and the shop. You know, you don't, obviously buying something is not necessary. Just the fact that you're tuning into this video is more than enough. But if you wanted to help out, um, it would be awesome if you could go over to Etsy and follow my shop. Um, you do that by clicking the heart button. And that helps uh, my shop be seen by other people. And also will let you know if I have new items that I've posted so if you want to help uh, support me, that would be uh, a really simple way to, to do it. And I appreciate it. And thank you again for all of your continued uh, support. Next up, I'm gonna take you through each find and explain a little bit more about why I liked it and why I thrifted it and how much it cost. If you like this video so far, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. I wanted to show you in detail some of these smaller items that I picked up in last week's video. And starting with this one here, so this is handmade studio pottery. And the label says Ricky Woods Potter out of Ontario. And I really thought it was neat because it's not a mug, though it has a handle, which is cute but it is actually a um, built-in like flower frog vase. So you fill it with water and then you put your stems uh, right inside. And I thought it was just very pretty. And I love the blue and white and it seemed really well made. So I decided to pick it up. So this one, um, I've just never seen one like this before. So I decided to, to give it a shot. And this I found at Wynn's. Um, <laughs> one of my friends said it, it looks like a stone donut. <laughs> so this, uh, it's actually a candle holder, obviously. You put your tea light in here. Um, but I thought it was a beautiful texture. And it was, I think it was like $2 or $3. I don't remember, but it was very inexpensive and pretty so I thought I would give it a shot but look at that uh, texture on that stone it's just gorgeous and it's heavy as well so I really like that one and uh, let's go to this one next so just a little 80s maybe 90s mug 
uh, that I picked up at Goodwill. I think this was $2 and it's made in Japan. And I just love the colors. So I think this one will do well um, on the Etsy shop. It's just really, really cool uh, 80s style mug. So really happy about that one. And let's go next to this mug since we're on mugs. So this is an Odagiri mug as it turns out. I think it was like two dollars. I can't remember. It was from Goodwill. Um, and yeah, just beautiful horse design. I thought it was gorgeous. And I don't think this one will be for sale or at least not yet. Um, because I, I think I may gift this to a friend of mine who is really into uh, horses and I think she would really like this mug. So for now, I'm going to keep this one under wraps. And, you know, if I change my mind about that, I might list it. And most of this stuff will be available um, on the Etsy shop if it's not already available by the time this video comes out at least. And uh, here's the basket you probably saw me thrifting um, in last week's video. It's an African market basket, so it's woven with grasses and then the handle is leather. And uh, yeah, really cute little item. I like this one because of its size. I have another larger one um, also in the shop right now that has not sold yet. It's more of like a picnic style one, but this one is kind of like a little cute um, small one. So I thought I would pick it up. It was $3 at Wins, and I just love the purple um, color as well. So that's a little cute one there. I was happy to find that one. I'm always happy to find all this stuff. And here is, uh, you may have seen me thrift this as well in the video. It's a stone um, napkin holder. And it was kind of different and weird. So I thought I would give it a try. I'm trying to pick up unique, more unique items um, for my shop. So not just like something that everyone else would have. This is clearly like handmade. And I don't think that, you know, there's another one like this. Um, or at least not that I could find when I did some research on it. So it's just a really beautiful statement piece. It is so heavy. Like very, very solid. Um, yeah, so really cool piece. You could also use it to like um, stack your mail. It's like a mail kind of stand or sorter. Um, so there's a lot of uses for these, but um, classically, obviously, a napkin holder. And I just love the stone look. It's so heavy. Oh, my goodness. And let's go to... What else? Oh, yeah. I'll just do these little containers. So I kind of got these on a whim because I wanted to add a little bit of color also um, to my shop. Instead of just having, like, you know, your brass and your wood and you know, your baskets and all that kind of stuff, which I love, but I also want to get some colorful items in there for, for those of you who enjoy like those pops of color in your decor. And these are probably 80s um, containers. They're made in Indonesia, if you can see that there. And uh, yeah, they have a glass jar bottom and then a plastic lid. And this is a set of two. So this is available already on the shop. And I just thought they were just really cute. I love the fruit uh, design. So I decided to give those ones a go. And they were $3 each. So probably paid a little bit too much for them um, in hindsight. But, you know, we'll go with it. We'll see how, uh, see how they do. And then these um i just totally love um, this tumbler set so it's a set of five and they're frosted glass so they're like white and then pink but i mean arguably you could say it's kind of a purple let me know in the comments if you think these this is purple or pink because like depends on the light but i mean they are coming across a little bit more purple ish to me than i feel like they were when i bought them and they're made by cutler so these are presumably 
like an 80s um, tumbler. And they're very long, or tall, I should say, and thin. I just think they would be really pretty for like a summer drink, like an iced tea. And there's a set of, there's a set of five of them. So really happy with that find as well. And let's go to the cat mug. So I found these at Goodwill for like, they were like $3 for four mugs. Sometimes they just, most of the time the pricing for mugs there is just exorbitantly expensive. And then every now and then you find something that's just like a ridiculously good deal. Um, like they made a mistake pretty much in their pricing. And that was this set. So I was just like, could not be more stoked about these cat mugs. If you have watched other videos of mine or are following the channel, you probably already know that I like cats and that I have a cat. So I love these mugs so much. They are going to be for sale. They're Bilton's mugs made in England. And there's a set of four mugs. So here's a Siamese, Siamese kitties and some tabbies. Look at that one's face. <laughs> they're just so cute and Biltons um, they started in 1900 and they stopped making pottery in 1999 um, these are presumably from uh, the 70s so very rare to find a full set because normally did some research and normally um, People will have one or two of them or they'll have like four of the same cat breed but this set is unique because there are um, all four of them all four of them are here look at this little guy so cute so I just love those and then this was one of the more interesting finds and this is already sold so it already went out of the Etsy shop believe it or not and it's a really unique wall pocket and I'll, you know, let you use your own imagination as to what this looks like to you. But there it is. So I just, you know, obviously could not leave this behind because, you know, how could, how could you, how could you leave this behind? And uh, someone obviously felt the same way about it as me and they bought it right away from uh, the Etsy shop. I think I paid like $4 for this. I don't remember and then I put it up on the shop I think it was just for uh, inexpensive price I think it was like $28 um, and uh, flew flew right out of the Etsy shop um, the next the next day so amazing find <laughs> who would have thought and then I did find these um, really pretty uh, tea light candle holders that you probably saw me um, thrift in the last video. I was considering gifting them, but I did not. I put together the gift basket already and um, with some other items. So I'm gonna sell these. These are actually already up and listed. I'll try to put all the links to all of the different items in the description box. So if you wanna go check them out, the link will be in um, the description box below. But I love these, they're varying heights. So they've got the short one, a medium one, and a tall one. And they have the brass bottoms with uh, this felt here. And they're just really dainty, really pretty. Um, so I was happy with them. I paid a little bit too much probably for them because at the time I was thinking I would gift them. So I was willing to spend you know, a little bit more, but um, I decided to keep them, but that's fine. I will sell them. Um, I think they were like $4, $3, and $2. So a little bit more than I would typically want to spend. Um, I picked this one up kind of on a whim because it was a white tag, I believe, which was 50% uh, off. And I thought it was kind of neat. And I don't have a lot of like black metal stuff in my shop. And I know people do enjoy it. Um, this is like an etched... I hope you can see the design there, an etched metal um, entryway coat, coat rack, coat hook. It has like the, the horns kind of here, or I guess they could be snakes. It depends on you know who you ask, but 
I thought it was cool. It's a really like quality heavy piece. Um, so that's available in the shop too. So I thought I would give that one a try. Never seen it before, so figured why not pick it up. And um, before we do the tray, the I did pick up the Pyrex um, Colonial Mist mixing bowls, a uh, set of three. So they're the two smaller ones and then one larger one, and those will be available as well. I'm going to sell these for a really reasonable price because when I looked at them further, I realized there's quite a few marks on them. Like they definitely have been, you know, loved, but they're so gorgeous. They're so beautiful. They still have a lot of use, life left in them. So I'm going to be putting those up as well. And then the tray is one of my favorite things that I found and it is available as well. And I just think it's gorgeous. I haven't seen a copper tray quite like this before. It's got a good size, it's quite big. And then it's full copper, with the copper back. There's a little hangy thing here if you wanted to display it on your wall type thing. But the pattern is just really pretty. I mean, look at that, it's gorgeous. The handles are really ornate and beautiful. So I couldn't pass this one up. This was fairly pricey for, you know, what I would prefer to spend at the thrift store. Um, so this was $15, but I felt the value was really there. This is a valuable item. So I'm I'm excited for this one and while I wait for it to sell, I will be using it um, because it is too gorgeous to put downstairs in storage. So I'll be using that and enjoying it. I almost forgot to show you the beautiful cats. How could I do that? It's because they're over here on Hutch and I momentarily forgot about them, but look at these beauties. So. They are so cute. I am, uh, <laughs> I want to keep them, <laughs> but I can't keep everything because that's just not practical. But I really feel like maybe I should start a cat collection or something because I seem to be like obsessed with cats. So I might as well embrace it, you know, and just go full cat lady. What do you guys think? Should I start a cat collection and go full cat lady? I think my favorite one is this guy here. So when I was researching this one, I realized it's a vase. It has a hole at the top where you put, you can put your flowers here. So this is actually also a vase if you want it to be. Or it could just be the cutest Siamese cat figurine known to man, but I really love it. I have a feeling this one is gonna go quickly. I could be wrong. Sometimes I'm wrong. I never, I'm always surprised what sells and what doesn't, but I just think he's really cool. I mean, look at his expression on his face. And then I do really love the purple cat as well. It's really tall, so I like that. I think that would look really good on someone's like bookshelf. And then here's the set of three. So this will be sold as a set with the, the mama here and the two little ones. And I chose these ones because there was no chips. There was a bunch to pick from. And I chose these three because there was no chips, no cracks, and I like the designs on these ones. Each one has kind of a unique Mexican kind of folk art design. So there's like a little village and a church, some ladies. And then the bigger one has uh, kind of like cac cacti, birds of paradise, some guys with sombreros. So it's traditional kind of Mexican themes there and then this one has this one up again this one has yeah guy and sombrero 
little garden kind of area. More cacti. So yeah, really cool. Okay, here we are in my front yard. <laughs> I just got it out. It's really heavy, <laughs> especially the glass. The glass piece is really, really heavy. Um, but I managed, so I'm gonna turn it over and just so you guys can see the stamp on the bottom of the hooves. Okay, so this is the only way I am getting it to focus. But you can see those five little letters, Italy. So she is authentic. I am so excited. The condition is not perfect. There's rust spots. I'll have to go over it and show you. There's scuff marks and like it's definitely been used. But still overall in good condition and what a find. So I'm going to get the glass on it. It's a really kind of a crazy cool table like I've never seen something like this before and I feel really lucky to have found it uh, for only $30. I think it was definitely a huge thrift score but I would like to hear your thoughts on what you think I should do with it because it you know should I sell it or should I keep it do you like it here in the living room I'm not 100% sold on on it in my space um, yet I still feel like I am kind of more of a mid-century modern girl with boho um, mixed in there and I just can't seem to leave that uh, that era behind I'm still really into that era so let me know what you would do about this um, would you attempt to sell it obviously it's not something that I can ship um, I wouldn't feel comfortable trying to do that um, and it's it's just extraordinarily heavy um, like I had to get help um, to get it in my car I had to get help getting it out of my car, uh, getting the glass back in, like it was quite um, a challenge. So it's definitely not shippable, but I could try selling it locally. Um, I would love to hear some opinions and what you all think I should do if I should keep it here or um, try to sell it. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you'd like to see more thrifting content in between the YouTube videos, head on over to Instagram and follow us at bluehousevintage.yyc. Next up, I'm going to show you how I styled some of the thrift finds from last week's video. So here's kind of where I keep a lot of the vintage finds before I list them. <laughs> There's quite a lot uh, kind of building up, but um, what I really wanted you to see is the plant pot from last week's video. So I decided to keep it. I had this um, plant in a wicker uh, basket, but I swapped it out for this brass one that I found and I love it. So I'm definitely going to gonna keep it it just kind of matches a lot more with the aesthetic that I want to go with I did like the other basket too but I'm gonna use it for um, my Christmas tree this year instead so I'm gonna keep this uh, brass one here for this plant let me know what you guys think I also found this little propagation station in last week's video at Winds. I think I paid like a dollar, two dollars at most for it. 
and I really love how it's turning out. I've got a few plants in there so far and I think it looks really cool and yeah, I was super happy with this find. So when you're out at the thrift store, uh, make sure you're looking for this type of thing as well. You could also propagate plants in like a lot of other vintage like vases and whatnot as well. I was thinking how cool would it be to propagate some plants in a container like this milk glass vase. So I use it for diffuser oil. So I just put the diffuser oil in there and put the sticks in. But wouldn't that be pretty to have you know, a bunch of those all lined up on a shelf with some plants growing inside and that would be really cool. That about wraps it up for today's thrift haul style video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I use some of the items in my house. And as always, I hope that this video will inspire you to head out to your local thrift store and see what you can find. There's a lot of cool stuff waiting to be discovered. Subscribe to the channel for more weekly thrifting content. See you next time.